I recently did a video entitled how much gold have humans mined and um, I received a lot of comments asking me to do silver next and I'm going to skip right down to the comments section and get right to the point here um, so blue meanie 1658 asked me um, how about silver can you do silver next and he's not the only one to have asked that there are a number of problems that make determining the exact amount of silver that exists right now uh, very very difficult to calculate first of all are the recovery rates so there are a lot of things um, involved in industrial manufacturing within with silver like chemicals which contain silver in it and and these are huge applications it's not like gold where it's an extremely small amount these are huge uh, applications so uh, where the silver is unrecoverable it still exists but it's not in a form that we can recover it so we can scratch that out also photography virtually none of the photography that has been used over time has recoverable silver um, clothing medicine so there are there are a number of applications throughout time that silver has been used for where the silver can't be recovered so we don't know how much of that recover was recovered how much wasn't um, how much of the scrap that's coming in is jewelry or is it silverware or is it former bullion I know I mean I know for a fact at least speaking for the US and Canadian mints that their asset recovery programs are shrouded in secrecy so a lot of the silver coinage that they produce they brought back home melted back down but um, there aren't really accurate numbers as to how much they they recovered and how much is still out there and that's done on purpose on top of that prior to 1850 there isn't a lot of mining da data on silver um, simply because it was more thought of as an industrial metal used for forks and, and knives and uh, various uh, in, industrial applications nice silverware as well but and, and of course coinage but um, unlike gold where you mine gold and you dropped it in the bank or it became money and wealth right away silver that wasn't always the case and one more thing I didn't really write here was that silver is mined with tin copper lead iron ore um, all of the above so uh, it's difficult uh, especially in previous times to sort of determine uh, in each mine how much silver came out because it was a sort of a happy byproduct whereas it wasn't really documented like it, like it is right now so it's extremely difficult to determine how much was minted now what I did was I sort of did some off-the-cuff calculations here so what I said was that silver as an element is 10 times more abundant than gold so that's the abundance of silver within the earth's crust compared to gold so that's a good starting point because that's something that we know pretty much as a fact um, so if we know that there are 3.6 Olympic pools of gold there is the potential to have mined 36 Olympic pools worth of silver however much of the silver was not mined. Silver exists as a powder in the ground, therefore not always recognizable to early miners. So um, unlike gold where you can pull a nugget out of the ground when you're digging, silver is just a powder. So uh, when the prospectors were panning for gold or looking for gold, they might have overlooked a pile of silver. Um, now conversely to that, there are mines where that only mine silver or where there is no gold. They're, they're mining for other ores and silver is a happy sort of byproduct of that mining so again that this is why it's so difficult and uh, of course the very low uh, recovery rates for industrial and photography applications as we discussed so this historically accounts for about 64 percent of the usage so that's a huge amount that leaves 36 percent of um, of the silver uh, left over from uh, that wasn't using photography or industrial applications now I just threw this in here no one Global silver reserves are 530,000 tons. That's the amount of silver that exists in the ground that they have yet to mine. So they know it's there though. So from that 36% that's left over, you can also toss out another 20% because 20% of uh, supply, well, it works out to 20%. I did the numbers, um, is recovered silver. So scrap recycling, resmelting, uh, presumably from jewelry and silverware, etc. 
So this leaves you with about 16% uh, historically of the silver that's mined still existing uh, today in its current form. So we do the 36 pools by um, the percentage calculation, which is 0.16, which leaves us with 5.76 pools. Now, silver is about half as dense as gold, which doubles us up to 11.52 pools. So knowing that uh, we have uh, 11.52 pools, we times it by the uh, volume of the Olympic size swimming pool, that gives us 28,800 cubic meters. We times that by the density of silver, 10.49 tons per cubic meter, and that leaves us with 302,111 tons, one, 112 tons, sorry, uh, or 9.7 uh, billion troy ounces. So, from these off-the-cuff calculations, now this is, again, by no means accurate. This is a guesstimate at best. Um, this is just me throwing out numbers. So this is why I didn't really do a video and spend too much time on it, although I've spent 45 minutes on it, but I didn't spend too much time on it because it's so difficult. So my guess is pretty much uh, as good as anyone else's, but um, that gives us total gold in existence as 5.6 billion troy ounces. The total silver in existence is almost double at 9.7 billion troy ounces. And total silver reserves, these are inferred, but not yet mined, are 17 billion troy ounces. So this is actually, this number here, this total silver in existence, I was actually expecting it to be a lot higher. This only represents about nine or 10 years of production. Um, no, about nine years of production. I thought for sure there would be a lot more than that. So um, now yeah, this is just another case in my mind to buy silver right now. Um, have a great night. I hope this was helpful. I, again, I'm sorry, this is, uh, this could be more accurate, but um, it's a good starting point anyway. So you can pick this apart to death because there are, there are some flaws in these calculations, but uh, it's a good starting point. So hope you find it useful. Take care.